Hello and welcome, I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Let's continue our uh, our Factorio Total Depletion playthrough. <laughs> you might have noticed I stumbled a little bit on the uh, intro. Whoops. But uh, it's been a little bit since I recorded. I know that, that yesterday, uh, Tuesday, should have been the normal scheduled time for this uh, video to come out, and I apologize for it not being out on time, but... Um, Actually, due to weather, I was not able to to get to the location that I upload videos from, so I, I had to delay it. I um, I couldn't get here; it was storming pretty bad. So, oh crap! Uh, so yeah, I I did that thing again where <laughs> I tried to do a little bit of work off screen and then end up spending more like an hour and a half doing stuff because. I get distracted and pulled into it, but uh, nothing actually that exciting um, happened without you guys. I, I I put out quite a few laser turrets and the main places were being attacked. I still kind of want to just line the walls with them, but I don't think that's as urgent as I initially thought it was. Um, I just have quite a bit. And yeah, so I added more steam, quite a lot. We have 10, 20, 30. We have, what, like 60 of these dudes? We're using a consistent, without lasers firing, um, which is a little difficult to tell. Um, we're probably using about 12 to 15 megawatts. And as you can see, these are running out of fuel because I cut off the fuel line to this because we are going to upgrade to electric furnaces in this episode. And we're kind of running low on the only coal patch I can see on the current revealed map. So, uh... I kind of want to conserve that. And then also, um, we need to up our our iron production because green science has actually stopped for the longest time because iron was not getting all the way down to this inserter factory. It is now. But um, as you can see, we're really not getting that much. We're running out of fuel in these. Oh, I set up an automatic inserter factory, an automatic um, laser making factory. I'm not sure if I had that last episode or not. We have like 75 in our inventory, so not bad. Uh, I set up some piercing ammo just for me. I set up automatic repair packs and lights um, just because I was tired of constantly making those. And, you know, the spitters, they are taking out laser turrets here and there, but. But yeah, did I pick up any bricks? No, that's why I went over here. Because I'm just going to replace all this with electric. I don't really feel like having the coal go down there. I don't want to accidentally run out of it. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to make a ton of those. We already have 11. We're going to need more. That's part of why I upgraded power. We're probably going to need to <laughs> upgrade it again, simply because... Um, because, yeah, these electric furnaces are going to put quite a strain. So copper's backed up. I would rather upgrade these dudes first. So, um... I stopped research so we can do this without messing stuff up. Because, as you can see, this is, like, all wonky. Um, I, I obviously don't, don't want it like this. So, I'm going to tear this down. Also, because it's in the, in the way of what I need to do here. Um, I'm just gonna go with uh, go with like like what we have here, except there's not gonna be side loading on one side. I'm just gonna have it go straight into the splitter. Um, so so yeah, this actually we do want this still how it was. Uh, So yeah, let's um did I did I grab one of those splitters? Looks like I don't have one. Well there's one actually here. That was kinda dumb. Right, so yeah, this was the, the coal, which I obviously don't need anymore. That means we can mine that out. See, I knew that wasn't gonna be a problem building on that. Uh I don't like where that's placed. <laughs> okay, that, 
that's okay, I guess. So, yeah. This is going to come in here. And before I go do that, let's clear the line of coal completely. And I think I picked up quite a lot of ore I'll need to put in there, but... Yeah. Let's um, do this. So, for anybody who... Wow, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> for anybody who has not seen um, how this type of thing's upgraded, um, it's really quite simple. This is why I like it. You just take those out, take out the inserters in the one belt, and then you're you're ready to just you're ready to go here. So that obviously is not good. That's not going to be there, so that doesn't matter. And yeah, so. I mean, it's a little bit of work, but it's nowhere near as bad as um, it's trying to build like an entirely new thing or tear down some an existing thing completely. The infrastructure stays here, but uh, the rest of this does not. Did I mess this up? No. Oops wrong direction that <laughs> oh man that's not gonna work oh, and I don't even have to remove the lights that's cool okay so then yeah now I know electric furnaces obviously don't smell any quicker than these dudes so it's not like this alone made us get more iron but I'm gonna add more electric furnaces in the amount of steel furnaces we had anyway but I just wanted to get this coal gone oops I didn't want to get rid of that light, though. So yeah, these attacks, um, they're getting decent sized. I mean, we're actually, uh, let's get rid of some of this. I mean, we're actually creating a lot of pollution. Like, here's our main thing, and it's kind of hard to see. I don't even know if you guys can see it on YouTube, but, I mean, it goes kind of, like, all the way out here and, like, way down here. Um... It's not so much here, I think, simply because all our steam engines are over here. Uh, that looks kind of interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. Did I already use... Whoa, game. Oh. That would probably be why that happened. Am I seriously out of these things? Already? Damn. That took a lot. The amount of power this um, power requirement this is going to add is kind of ridiculous. And again, I put those backwards. So we might need to upgrade our steam engines even more. I'm really not quite ready to go to solar yet. So, and I don't mind using steam, especially because. Uh oh. Oh no. I better go check that out. Um, but especially because cause we need a use for all this light oil, and that use is currently solid fuel. And it's all the way backed up, even with 60 of these, so it's not like we're even using it that fast. But I know I've said this for several episodes, but I really do want... <laughs> I do... Hold on, where did our wall get destroyed? Oh, down here? I really do want to really try to embrace the idea of this total depletion thing I mean that's <laughs> I mean that's why I made this series um, but uh yeah I don't know I just I kind of needed to get ramped up but we're we're going to um, we're gonna start start moving things to the next level here and we need to start working on the goals as well that we set for ourselves I probably should have written those down, because <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie, I actually don't remember what all of them were. Like, one thing we could actually start working on now is, uh, is our goal of supplying, like, like an imaginary army with, with all these things. We can start working on, on that. Um, I think we needed, we needed, uh, SMGs for all of them. We needed, uh, piercing ammo for all of them. We needed, I think, some shotgun stuff. Um, we'll need some power armor 
some cars, some tanks. And tanks obviously require engines, which we're going to get into soon anyway, because uh, I really, really need to get robots, robots going here. So yeah. Ooh, this is actually being used up quite quickly. Is this as well? No, I think it's just all being turned into this, or something. And what's the deal? Is this full of petroleum? Okay, well that's fine. I mean... And this keeps running out. That's the other reason I need robots. I need that refilled automatically. And of course I have no more iron to go pick up. <laughs> you can see we've used pretty much all the iron in the entire system while trying to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on. I mean these damn electric whatchamathings furnishes 180 kilowatts apiece. And uh, yeah, that's... Um, that's kind of a lot when when you add it all up. I'm going to take, yeah, let's take all of this. So as you can see, this belt isn't even close to full. We are going to need a ton more. So let's go pick up some of these. And what do I need? Circuits? Actually, I can make 25 with what I have. Not bad. I'm going to actually add two more iron guys here. Um, definitely gonna need to check the uh, check the power here. So yeah, let's um. This one can actually go away. And yeah, so we have how many? One, two. Three. We currently have twenty-two total. Um. What? That's a, that's a lot of power. I mean, you you can see that. I mean, obviously we aren't using some of these, but that already is 4.5 megawatts, and we um, we haven't even done the copper yet, so that's going to be a little crazy. Okay, let's get rid of this. Obviously, there's still there's no fuel on it anymore, but get rid of it. Um, pick up some of these guys. That's one thing I'm really happy about in this playthrough, is we actually have like a major abundance of uh, advanced circuits. And like every single one of my other um, gameplays, I, I have always been short on those. Like I've never been able to make enough, I've always been short, and uh, yeah, that's not happening now, which is pretty, pretty nice, I must admit. Um, so yeah, let's uh, mine this up. Because if you remember, we do have to mine every resource on the revealed map. And this needs to be, this line needs to be purged. And I don't mind keeping the coal, actually. I can use it for other stuff, but uh, but the, this iron and copper I definitely want to get rid of. Come on, game. Okay, that helped clear up my inventory a little bit. I do kind of wish in the uh, in the in the base game that didn't I get rid of yeah in the vanilla game I should say that they had something higher more advanced than a steel axe I mean for taking down these like furnaces and stuff and especially like like um, the oil storage tanks it's still a little bit slow actually something would be really kind of cool is like something, um, a module thing you could put in your power armor that uh, that was kind of like that, that made you like mine and destroy stuff a, a lot faster. I mean, like, I mean, if you have like power armor and exosuits and stuff, you would obviously have the technology to uh, to make like a mining drill equipment thing for it and, and stuff. But, oh well. I mean, I honestly have, like, almost no complaints about this game. Just little things like that. Yeah, I'm actually putting them in the right direction. So I, th <laughs> I think we are going to need to upgrade power again. We, uh... We... We probably won't have 
very much left, especially when the lasers fire. That's going to be a problem. It's probably going to cut the power on everything. Um, I do, I do want to start to start making um, solar panels and stuff. But right now, I think like robots and stuff is higher on my priority list. So I'm actually going to start with. I don't know. Like it seems like we really weren't using as much copper as I had started making. One thing that would help, let's start research again. Um, yeah, let's get let's get some more some more logistics stuff so that when we do get robots, they're not total crap. <laughs> Cuz they usually kind of are in, unless you've gotten these upgrades. Game? Game? Oh my god, there's so much junk. I'm gonna need to get rid of these like furnaces and stuff. And did I did I ever make a, a box? Yeah. So um let's do that. Put you in there. Fuel. Uh where where can I go put this fuel? I don't need all this fuel. Are you serious right now? Oh, some of these still have coal. Wow. Okay, what else? Yeah, I need... I'm going to make a box. And get rid of some of this junk. Like that. Won't need that. Won't need normal ammo. Don't need the coil. I'll keep that. Um, not gonna need those. I'll keep the steel furnaces just in case. And actually, actually, we we might need those for more boilers. So don't need the gun turret. And yeah, okay. I mean that helps a little bit. Yes, stupid box with stupid stuff in it. Okay, I think it's about time to call this an episode. Actually, so. Research is going along quite nicely. I, oh, I also added some more labs off screen. Re our resources are keeping up, and I'm <laughs> I'm actually going to add two more labs on top of what we have already um, because I, I also added another green science thing and another red science thing as well. Yeah, explosive rocketry. I don't see any problem with that. Let's get these labs made, and then and then I'm gonna. I'm going to call this an episode. And yeah, so we have fast inserters. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to automate the creation of smart and long, or fast and long handed inserters. And I actually said fast a minute ago. I, you know what I meant. But yeah, so we, we have a lot of labs. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 20 labs. Um, if I uh, if I move this, I could put probably a couple more down here, which I probably will do eventually. But as you can see, I don't think we're currently not under attack. Well, now we are, but without the lasers, our power. These dudes, they're not even all on, so. Yeah, we, we need more more power. Um, I suppose I could start setting up some stuff to make solar panels and accumulators and just kind of add them slowly, but I mean, right now we don't even have room, so. Wow, research is really, really cranking along here. Um, okay, I can't do that. Can't do that. We need to go kill some alien stuff. I'll get that. So next episode, I think we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to... Uh, did my mini-map just get bigger? Or am I just going nuts? I think I'm going nuts. Um, oh man, look at look at all that oil. This map has so much oil. So when looking at it, there's actually not that many resources on here. I mean, there's um, some massive copper veins, which late game will be great. But, oh, there's some coal. Iron is not that plentiful, really. I mean, there's some tiny ones. This one's pretty decent size. There's another one here. But 
but really there's not as much as I would have thought and I hope <laughs> we have enough to support everything we're gonna do but uh but yeah so next episode we're gonna do one of two things we're either going to um, to get robots get that going or we are going to go kill some bases collect some artifacts try to slow down the attacks a little bit uh, you know go have some fun probably take out these guys for sure and maybe this this might be a little big right now um, but for that we'll need to add more power so yeah I mean we're not even being attacked and as you can see we're at like three quarters we're using almost 25 megawatts just without being attacked so when we get attacked the stuff will probably shut off but yeah so look forward to all that stuff happening next episode and as always thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed and uh, you know if you did uh, like and subscribe it, it really really helps out but until next time I look forward to seeing you guys and take care